Okay, hello, hello everyone. I want to show you, um, because Google released today, a lovely little chart that shows the ranking factor updates. Um, and the updates released to the algorithm uh, for search over the past, I don't know how many, two years, which is amazing. But being the Google Sheets and Google Data Studio fan that I am, I wanted to show you how you can use this data to enhance the reports that you give to your clients or the reporting that you do for your own site and very quickly map out whether a certain update has had an impact on your search performance. And uh, the way that we're going to do this is we're going to export the data in a Google Sheets using a very, very simple formula. And then we're going to blend the data with um, any traffic metric or data source that you want to use. So for instance, if you want to use the traffic metric clicks from Search Console, blend this with this data and see whether your clicks have been impacted by um, an algorithm update. Similarly, if you want to use your data for sessions from Google Analytics, again, same thing. The process is absolutely the same. You, you will see how easy it is. Before I do that, I do want to give a very, very quick shout out. The shout out is to McD uh, or otherwise on Twitter with the analytics. He is someone that has shown this method, at least as far as I know, maybe a couple of years ago. So he is a true pioneer in the data studio space. So absolutely give him a follow. He posts a lot more frequently about new updates and new data visualizations and basically doing a lot of cool things in data studio. So definitely give him a follow if this topic interests you in any way, shape or form. And with that said, let's just straight jump into the video. Right, so the first thing we want to do is to get the URL where um, the ranking updates are hosted, create a new Google Sheet, title it uh, Algorithm Updates, save it wherever you want to. Probably if you're doing client reporting, it's good to save it in their drive. And then you use the formula import HTML with the arguments, the first one being the URL, and then we have comma table zero, uh, which is the index, and then the locale is the NUS. Once we enter this into the cell, uh, it's important to enter it on the second cell, or, or if you have entered it at the top, it's not really an issue. What we have to do then is add a new row and title it date, and then algorithm update. Amazing. Once we have that done, we will need to go to this row and hide it. And now we have uh, the sheet ready for Google Data Studio. We can copy the URL or we will find it directly into Data Studio and then we head over there. Once we are in Data Studio, we're going to come to Manage Added Data Sources, Add a Data Source, Google Sheets. We already have it here, um, but if you want to add it via the URL, you can just enter that. It's very important here to say do not include the hidden and filtered cells. The reason why we don't want to include them is this will mess up the date dimension because the first um, thing that Google returns is actually the text for ranking updates release history, which is not a date. And the way that the table is structured, as you can see here, is one row that is merged together. And this is not what we want. It's not very, um, it, it looks beautiful visually, but it's not what we want in our data. We want a clean data here, uh, consistent uh, with the date uh, dimension that is used in Google Analytics and Search Console as well. Long story short, use the first row as headers, include hidden and filter cells is disabled. And then we are, um, we can go ahead and add this to the report. Now let's say, for instance, we want to report on sessions um, or maybe we want to report on clicks from Search Console. Uh, today I want to show you how to do that with clicks, but you will see the approach is exactly the same. We have the date, we have the clicks. Now what we want to do is blend the data. So we are going to join another table. We're going to join with algorithm updates and then we are going to um, enter in the dimensions the algorithm update here you can of course add different dimensions so for instance if you want to add your impressions your positions whatever else you want to add uh, you're more than welcome to do that 
and then we are going to uh, clean this up a little bit uh, to say Google search We're going to configure the join as well we're going to use left outer join we have the date dimension in both um, data sources that we're going to use and left outer join for those of you that are not aware means that we are taking all of the matching rows uh, using this join so all of the dates that are contained in the google search console data source and onto those we are attaching the data that is from the second data source um, and that's the long story of it. Um, I think Mehdi has an amazing article for explaining the different joins, so you can go ahead and check that afterwards if you need more explanations. And um, we can go ahead and say yes. Now we are seeing an error here. Uh, chart configuration incomplete, missing dimensions or fields, perfect. We can see that that should be the date. Here we should have a clicks. And we should also have the algorithm update uh, count distinct updates everything is working fine the only thing that we need to do is to ensure that we are seeing bars instead of the line cool and now uh, what will be very helpful for everyone using this kind of report is to have a date range to also have a table with the updates and to also have uh, the possibility to filter this table as well or otherwise to search it and here we want to search on algorithm update cool and if we change uh, the date uh, to this year to date we should be able to see the distinct great so now we have the algorithm updates uh, marked as lines here uh, and essentially we will be able to um, see essentially what um, the description of the update is uh, and i think um, one good way to uh, do this would be to ensure that the algorithm update is added as text here um, and we are also filtering for no values here so update uh, is no. Cool. And then we can see that for this year, if we sort the date um, ascending, we can see that for this year, we have only three updates. Uh, one Another good thing that we can do is to ensure that the body is uh, wrapped and the table header is also wrapped. Um, awesome. And we don't actually need these row numbers happy times. So then we have uh, here the uh, algorithm update table. We can see the three updates here. We have the date uh, range so we can go back in time, forward, whatever it is. Um, and then we can also filter for a specific, um, you know, keyword. So let's say page experience. We only have one of them here. Awesome. So happy times. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was useful and happy reporting.